Welcome to the toy demonstration of smart helmet helmet for enhanced rider. In this part, we are using uh, LCD display, buzzer, and main sensor, uh, Wi-Fi module, USB module, and also we can see uh, TP4056 char charging circuit and 3.3.7 volts battery, and also using a RF transmitter and a GPS module, and also using a Arduino you know, track PCB, and also using a GSM module. And here we can see two boost buttons, and also we are using a limit switch. So here we can see the limit switch. So when we wear the limit, uh, helmet, it will be pressed. So it will be considered as a wearing a helmet. And also here we can see another connection to this uh, belt. So we can see when we wear. So when these two switches uh, will uh, send a true value to the Arduino, you know, then only it will be considered as a helmet weared and also here we can see alcohol sensor and the mic also so here we can see alcohol sensor and the mic will be connected to the Arduino Uno so coming to the power supply so here we can see we are taking the 3.3.7 uh, volts power supply to this buck uh, USB module so here we can see we are charging this uh, battery using this uh, TP4056 at the same time we are taking the this uh, battery voltage from this TP4056 so it is given 3.7 volts that volts will be given to this USB model so USB model boosts the voltage up to 3.7 volts to 5 volts that 5 volts will be given to this track PCB so using the track PCB we are uh, equally dividing the 5 volts power supply for the this all components because this all components are works on the 5 volts of power supply and also we are providing an additional uh, 9 volts of uh, battery for the GSM module because it is uh, not work uh, it is works on the 9 volts of power supply it is not working in the uh, 5 volts of power supply that's why we are using additional battery power supply for this GSM module and also here we can see another component uh, car so whenever the, the hel this helmet is in um, weighed properly then only it will be take a uh, it will receive a message sorry it will receive a uh, signal then it will be in on position so whenever it will be in on position then only we will control this car using this remote only now we need to on the power supply using this switch and also here we can see in a gsm model here is a light blinking very fastly which means this uh, sim is not connected to the network whenever it blinks very uh, slowly with a delay time which means it is connected to the network it is not connecting the network because it is works on the 9 volts of power supply now i am uh, providing uh, uh, 9 volts of power supply additionally so now here we can see the green light blinking with, with a delay time now which means it is connected to the network and also here we can see it is showing that helmet not wear and it is wear so we need to press this button and after that we need to uh, press the limit switch So here we can see after the wearing of helmet so it will show the latitude and longitude values at the same time it will calculate the alcohol so it is showing as a no alcohol if it is uh, detected an alcohol it will uh, give a buzzer alert and also if the helmet will be tilted so it will be considered as a accident so here we can see it is uh, exactly gives a uh, 10 times buzzer alert after that it will send a message to our registered phone number
so here we can see it is showing as a sending message so it will send our to our registered phone number so here we can see uh, time is a uh, 7 1 and here we can see the time 7 1 so now here we can see it is shown as a accident alert with the location and also uh, here we can see the another emergency button so if we press this one it is also so here we can see so if we press the emergency button so it will show as an accident alert only after that it will send a message to our registered phone number so here we can see accident alert now uh, we make a alcohol detection so using this uh, marker it have alcohol content so now here we can see alcohol alert so here we can see alcohol alert message alcohol alert so uh, after this uh, clearance we need to give a power supply for this car so uh, we can see there so if we wear the helmet properly then this transmitter will uh, send a uh, signal to this uh, receiver then receiver so here we can see relay is in not position so if we control this one so whenever uh, relay is in on position then only this car will be controlled so if it is relay is not uh, in on position it will be not controlled if it uh, relay is in on position then only it will be controlled so relay will be on whenever the helmet wear properly now relay gets switched on and also we can see the values from the blink iot app for the blink app uh, notification we need to on the uh, hotspot settings so hotspot name should be prior to uh, 6704 without any capital letter without any space and the password should be 129 then only this wi-fi model will be connected to our network using our mobile data it will send a message uh, messages to the blink iot app so here we can see one device is connected esp 403c67 is the name of this esp uh, sorry yeah wi-fi model So here we can see it is a blink app. We need to go for this one. So after the login, it will show like this. So now here we can see in this one, it will uh, show the location. So if it is, if the accident is uh, detected, then uh, here we can see the round circle. There will be a li uh, light will be indicated. And also we are calling to the number, and it will be answered automatically. So here we can see the values here. So it will show the automatically. So due to due to phone and speaker are nearly by this one, so that's why this noise will be occurring. So in this way, it will be automatically pick up the call and answer. And also it will, here we can see there will be a small uh, speakers to ears. So in this way, this part will be works. Thanks for the watching.